everyone, this is Jad. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover how you can make your own seed potatoes like this. So you don't have to buy them from a seed company it's because seed companies are selling these seed potatoes for five to six dollars a pound, which is about 12 to 15 dollars a kg. You can just buy grocery store potatoes, which is about a dollar to dollar fifty a pound to make your own seed potatoes. Yes, you can do that. So let's get started. Step number one, get yourself some organic potatoes because conventional potatoes are sprayed with gross presents and they are hard to sprout and we want these to sprout. So always start with organic potatoes. Now when we are storing our potatoes, the conditions that we are looking for for long-term storage includes having a dark, cool and dry place. Now we're going to do the opposite to make your potatoes sprout. So to get our potatoes to sprout, we're going to place them in light, humidity and we're going to provide them warmth and then they will sprout really nicely and we're going to give them a kick and I'll show you what that is too. Step number two, make sure your potatoes are nice and healthy. Make sure they don't have any cuts on them or they don't have any disease or fungus on them. Always start with healthy potatoes. So I'm starting with these four really nice potatoes and look at how healthy they are. They don't have any cuts or any bruises. You do not want to start with this kind of a potato because this has a cut, it can have fungal diseases, and this will not do well. Step number three, get a damp paper towel and individually wrap your potatoes in the paper towel. Now this is going to provide the humidity needed to sprout our potatoes. Step number four, get a perforated bag like this. You can get a burlap or any kind of a bag like this. Potatoes usually come in these, onions come in these and this is perforated, it's not completely sealed, so it will allow airflow, which will prevent our potatoes from rotting. Add the potatoes in the bag, and here's the kick. Add a full onion in there. Usually they will always tell you not to store your potatoes with onions because the ethylene gas from onions make the potatoes sprout. So in order to make them sprout faster, we can add an onion in there and it works really well. Step number five, place the bag of potatoes right next to a window that receives indirect sunlight make sure it is not direct sunlight and the temperature inside is warm enough about 70 degrees Fahrenheit which is about 21 degrees Celsius. So it takes about three weeks for potatoes to start sprouting and after three weeks this is what they look like. Look at these nice sprouts, these nice chips on all of these potatoes and we have successfully made seed potatoes from grocery store potatoes. What you don't want to have is this long spindly chips like this. This is a result of placing potatoes in a pantry in dark and these just became long because they were looking for light. That's why light is important when cheating potatoes. So here are our seed potatoes and here's some nice tips. Don't just plant your whole potato like this with all these chicks on there. If you plant them like this, you'll get lots of potatoes but very small potatoes. I made a separate video on growing whole potatoes and cut potatoes with results. So check that out if you're interested. Step number five, choose appropriate amount of chicks on each potato. So a rule of thumb, a big potato like this with lots of chips, you can cut it, but don't make it smaller than about one and a half to two ounces. A smaller potato like this, you can plant it whole, but make sure you only keep two chips and remove all the rest of the chips. Step number six, make sure you heal your cut potatoes and cure them properly so they are scarred over. Never plant potatoes like this. Always scar them like this before you plant them. That way your potatoes will not rot and will not have any fungal disease. And I'll see you in another video.